Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content and also engage in the comments. Leave some comments below. Let us know what you think. All right, so let's get right to it. Free agency season is upon us. Western Conference. Western Conference. Yeah. Based on the moves that were made, mm. if the season were to start at this very moment, who are the top four teams in the Western Conference? No, no paper, particular order. On paper, I got to go with, with Lakers. Lakers, all right. Jazz. Oh, yeah, Utah, all right. Nuggets. Denver. Rolling. It's a tough one. Everybody healthy. Going with the Warriors. I like that. I like everybody's healthy. Everybody's healthy. I like Clay. that. Clay has to be Clay. Mm-hmm. He, and not just as far as knocking down shots. Mm-hmm. It has to be the Clay that able to move laterally. Defensively. And play the defense that he's, you know, people always call him a two-way player, but... The way he played defense and the people that I watch him slow down in this league from different sizes and different type of players, and I watch him do it, he's more than elite. No doubt. Yeah. Yeah. That's, to me, besides his shooting, that's what makes him a superstar. No doubt. His defense. No doubt. I'm rolling. So, here we go. You name your top four, right? What did the Lakers do? In your opinion, it sounds crazy because LeBron and AD, they should be top four anyway. But what did they do to allow them to stay in that top four? Because some people say they're old. They are. All right. They're very old. Okay. But that's the point. When I looked at that roster and see all the new faces, the Bazemore, yeah. Monk. Let's go. Resigning um, THT. Okay. Um, Those two individuals are un- under 23, right? Right. Okay. Kendrick Nunn. Okay. Trevor Ariza. Love it. Mellow. Mellow. Mm-hmm. All of these guys are old. Yes, they are. But who's, who's, who, if you look at that right now, who are you starting? You don't know. And you, it could be either one of them, right? Dwight. All right. It could be either one of them. So now they have so many old, and then people, I keep hearing all these, these analysts say that they're old, but they're old and deep. So, a grueling 82-game season, it's not going to be that hard on them because they're so deep mm-hmm. that if you still got shooters. If some you, you got two shooters that's not playing tonight, you still got two other shooters, that, more shooters that still come in and fill those lanes, fill, fill those spots. And if they all are playing, how many minutes a night are they actually going to play? I and dig that. Right. not just on the role players, but even LeBron should be able to get – Less rest, uh, more rest. And the simple fact that he don't have to do everything. Run the offense, get them where they're going. They, they got other playmakers on the team now. I don't think LeBron ever played with this many playmakers before. Ever. Uh-huh. So, right, so th- I'm rolling. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that because obviously we'll have some time to really dissect the team. But right. they're part of the top four. The next one you mentioned was Utah. Now, yeah. Utah made some big moves. Big moves. Moves that people probably wouldn't even talk about. Rudy Gay, big That's pickup. Big. Pascal is a, another great pickup. Now they can play some small ball. Yeah. And they got that additional wing defender. Right. Okay. They we, they lost one out, me and your favorite, Naeem. Yeah, he's out they, there. They, yeah. They, they, they lost them. But that's okay. They, they we, With those pickups you just mentioned, that covers that. Yeah. Because Rudy Gay plays defense, and he has size. And he can match up with – some teams four. Yeah. yeah. Well, right. Did multiple positions. Yeah. So, I like what they did. Yeah. And then again, when you that is when when you have a team like that and they, they resign Connolly. Mm-hmm. And and they also went and got um uh big man from Sacramento, uh s- center. Um he didn't get much run last year. Played with Miami. Oh, um I know you're talking about it. it's it's, it's It'll come back. They have me. a backup for, for Gobert. White side. White side. Yeah. Right. 
and they lost um, favors. Favors. But I like what they, and you keep your core together like that, and they're pretty, pretty, pretty young. And then you come back with some veteran players. Remember, they was the they number, had the one number one seed last year. And, and again, barring no injuries, they could have easily been in the finals. We don't know that. You know, it's, we talk about we can't pick and choose which teams that had injuries, but yeah, they they had injuries also, which hurt them. Yeah, you know, so Utah's right there. I like the moves that they made. Like we said, they kept their core. So, obviously, they should be in the top four. Mm-hmm. The next one would be Denver. Mm-hmm. Speaking of injuries, yeah. they face possibly the biggest injury. Yeah. Murray. Yeah. So yeah. And he's coming up from AC. Oh, we need to talk about that, too. Remember, you did mention this is contingent upon players mm-hmm. being healthy. healthy. Right. So, Murray, he should be back when? He's going to miss some time. It's an ACL. He's, he, he won't be back in the beginning of the season? I don't think so. Well, barring like we said, all of this and from what, how we feel, and we were wrong all last year about yeah. a lot of stuff that <laughs> yeah. we, you know, I think I don't think anyone had it, had it right the way it was falling. Um, but when everyone being healthy, yeah, we right. that's all we can go by because they they picked up Jeff Green, right? Jeff Green went there, big huge so Michael pickup. Green stayed. Mm-hmm. Uh, Will Barton got re-signed, right? Right. Yeah, that solid team. It's all, it, yeah, it, and yeah, still the, young. Experience was that was that key. Gordon mm-hmm. still there. Porter, Porter Junior still there. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, it's all about um, experience with them. That's yeah. it. And they got they got some last year. Um, experience playing without their star point guard. That's big, man. And they yeah. got the MVP on their team. Enough. Yeah, <laughs> right. there you go. So you you pretty much elaborated on the Warriors already. Speaking of Clay, like he needs to be back to uh, both sides of the ball. Clay, defensive uh, minded and right. knocking down those jumpers that we're accustomed to, and uh, Steph being Steph. Yeah, you know, and and that, and that's why with Clay coming back being Clay, you, you can't all that attention that Steph had on him last year. You can't do that when Steph is on the on the other side. And they got some Otto Porter Jr. That's a huge pickup too, man. He that corner three. Yes, and size and yeah. defense. Yeah. Then you also have um, the, the 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 rookie they just picked up, Kamunga. Yeah, K- from the Congo. Yeah. Yes. Oh, he is a monster. Mm-hmm. He's to me not a right off the bat, but the, from the potential of what I what I seen from him, he's Draymond Green that can shoot. We already know Draymond can can handle the rock and run the offense. I don't know as far as him running the offense, but he's an athletic big that can get up and down the floor and defend. And he's not going to hurt you the way Draymond does offensively mm-hmm. as far as knocking down shots because he can shoot the three and he goes to the hole. He hit and he goes to the hole hard. He's, yeah. So I I I think he's ready to play. Yeah. And then and then uh, uh, counting on. How that last year's uh, pick, how he uh, Wiseman, Wiseman, how he developed. You know, he ended the season injured last year, but I'm expecting him to have gotten better. And we'll see. I mean, it's scary. It is, man. Yeah. And uh, Golden State, um, they know what they're doing over there. Like we spoke off. Hey, I don't think they're done. They're not, that's the thing. Yeah. So they're not done. You still got um, Kelly Oubre out there who's not signed. And the money has dried up. So pretty much for him to get a decent deal from what he's close to anything what he was looking for, it has to be a sign and trade. Yeah. So that means Golden State gets something back. And I'm quite sure they I believe that they have some trade exceptions. So mm. uh, got they're working over there. No, they're doing and they're not a, well, it can't be a say they're afraid to go because they already over the cap. Mm-hmm. You know. Yeah, they will be all right over there. Yeah. Long money over there. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we, we mentioned the top four, and obviously we spoke about a lot of injuries with the Western Conference because many teams are coming off with the star players with you know tremendous injuries. Clay, the last two seasons, right. Jamal Murray. Mm-hmm. So I'm, we're going to make it not so much easier for us, but just to uh, to give the viewers out there some options, right? So obviously we got the top four. If those two teams that we mentioned that are coming, they have the star players that were hurt the pr- previous year, what are the two teams in the honorable mention that you would 
substitute them for? I guess this is kind of not fair because I didn't put this team in there because of injuries. I know you're going. Okay. Yeah. I didn't put the Clippers in there because ACL. It, Kawhi. Kawhi. Yeah. And, and from the reports, it's being said that he probably be missing pretty much the entire season. Mm-hmm. Right? But that's the, the, now that I think about it, and he's so quiet and sneaky that you never know what's really happening with 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 Kawhi. Yeah. So Kawhi could probably be back in December, January, <laughs> and got yeah. everyone thinking that he'll be out for the whole season. Mm-hmm. So you really don't have listen. This this guy's he declined it declined his option for the for this coming season, and he still haven't even signed. And if I was a Clippers. I don't care what he's telling me. I would be worried because he told a lot of he told Lakers that he was <laughs> he was coming, right? And didn't yeah. come last minute and now now everything all dried up. What what are they going to do? Yeah. So, you well, know. what is he going to do? Everything dried up. Yeah. But I get what you're saying yeah. though. Like he didn't, he, he hasn't trust left through any reason to have any confidence in the way what's he the pro- moves. Yeah. What's 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 the what's the problem with us, you know, just giving you the number? You sign yeah. it, and that's it. Yeah. And to add on to that, they haven't made many moves in free agency either. Because yeah, Reggie Jackson is still a free agent, right? Yeah. I know um, Ibaka opted back in. Mm-hmm. But they're hard-pressing. That's yes, because he knew, he knew that uh, that $9 million, he wasn't getting that anywhere else. Mm-hmm. So he had no choice but to do that. All right. All right, so you mentioned that team, right? So that would be one honorable mention. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm going to give you a choice between the next two. Would it be Phoenix or Dallas? Because Portland, I don't see them in the in the picture. Maybe Memphis, eh, nah, but I don't think Memphis is as good as Dallas and Phoenix at this particular moment. I, I, don't, understand the, I don't understand the move that they made when they made that trade, Memphis. Well, Stephen Adams for... Um, yeah, I don't understand that. Um, to some people, they, they like it, but to me, I really don't like it because Stephen Adams... He can't. He can't get out of Ja Morant's way. Yeah, but he does bring that toughness though, because Ja was getting flung around a lot, man. Yeah. yeah. And now you got to think twice about. But that's the thing. Now Adams' man is gonna be down there that that can also swing over, and that's a big. Yeah. That's, see, what what they gave away, where the he, he spread the floor, and now Adams can't spread the floor. I really don't understand it. I don't know. Yeah, that's one of those you you have to uh, actually see them play to make sense of that. Yeah, I got to make sense of that. So what you got Dallas or Phoenix? Who who's that next team? Phoenix. Phoenix. All right. The the reason why, even though it's Dallas, Luca is you you know, who going against Luca, but at the same time, I think Jason Kidd has a lot of work to do to get Luca to trust his teammates around mm-hmm. him a little more. It sounds crazy, being that he get triple doubles and all that. But I just think that that's, that's what point. happened. That's what happened in the playoffs. They they was able to just focus on him and take away what what he was doing. But and that's the coaching. And Jason Kidd, I haven't seen him in this position before. Yeah, I know he's been a head coach before, but not where someone is expecting. They they surprised everybody coming into the playoffs mm-hmm. when he was with, in Milwaukee. But this is more like. You got Luca. We're heart. expecting you to be there already. Yeah. And so he, we, I gotta see. I gotta see. All right. Yeah. So you mentioned we got, and they ain't make too many changes. Nah, they brought back Tim Hardaway Jr. They got uh, Moses Brown from Boston. That's big. Yeah. They needed some size. Mm-hmm. I'm looking to see what is KP gonna do under JK's tutelage. Is his game going to expand, or maybe those two just don't fit? We'll see. We'll find out. We'll find out. So we got the Lakers, the Nuggets. The Jazz and the Warriors. Mm-hmm. Two honorable mention: Phoenix and Clippers. And, and the Clippers. Mm-hmm. That's if Kawhi is back. If he isn't, probably throw Dallas in there. All right. All right. So Portland is no longer in the window, and the window is closed. Well, it's hard for me to even think of them because at this point. Going by what Dame said, he wanted to see what was going to happen. And me and you and you guys out there can see in Portland that they didn't do anything. No, they didn't. 
they didn't add much of anything. Tony Snell? Yeah. And we signed. Um, was it Zach Collins? No, oh, Zach he Collins left. is gone. Yeah. yeah, he left. Yeah. He's in San Antonio. Yeah. Man. So, with Dame saying that he wanted to see, unless they got something up their sleeve, which they don't have really that money for, the only thing I can see them up having up their sleeve is being prepared for when he tell them that he don't want to be anymore, and he get traded. So, yeah. I can't I can't put Portland in there. Powell resigned, right? Yeah. Okay. He right. signed okay. for ninety million. Ninety million. Yeah, I know. Which is uh, if if. Dame is happy with him being there. I'm not saying that he's not, but if I'm if I'm if I'm the organization and my 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 player is telling me he want to see what happened, I need to make sure before I go give anybody a 90 million dollar contract that he's happy with that. No, yeah. I agree, man. Yeah. All right. So anything else you need to add? I like the list is money. I like that. The, I mean, it's it's gonna be exciting. Mm. It's gonna be exciting. And the thing with Denver is. Denver made some nice small moves, but what what their biggest move to me was just experience. So I'm hoping that the experience that they got with playing without Murray and now with Murray, mm-hmm. it will make up a difference. A healthy Murray will make up a difference. Yeah, all right. So let us know what y'all think, man. Leave a comment below. Who do you have in your top four? Also give us two honorable mention. Let us know why. All right. Give us a reason why. If it's your city, that's not enough. I don't know why based on the moves. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. And most importantly, hit that notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. Earl Tima, co-host Big Gong Allen Tima. This is Team Sports Entertainment. Y'all be good. We out of here. Peace.